That's enough out of you. Now, I was criticized for joking about shovel-ready jobs uh, the other day. But the truth is, we need to build tunnels and bridges. Uh, that way, people would have something to live under <laughs> or jump off of. Now, in a recent poll, uh, only 15% of Americans believe that there will be a Great Depression. Uh, but the bad Bad news for me, the other 85% believe it will only be a very good depression. <laughs> now, I'm proud to say that we're finding great strides, uh, or we're making great strides in finding non-combat solutions uh, to finally deal with Muammar Gaddafi, uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and Kim Jong-il, or as we refer to them in the Situation Room, uh, two and a half men. Well, look at little Kim, isn't he cute? Uh, little, little man. Now, Attorney General Eric Holder, at my direction, will be fighting uh, Alabama's controversial immigration bill that's even more extreme than that of Arizona's. It states that the police have the probable cause to check anyone's immigration uh, status if their complexion is greater than or equal to that of John the Crybaby Boehner's. <laughs> you want to see my impression of uh, Speaker Boehner? Here we go. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I've been working on that for months. I don't know why that man cries so much. Those spray tans aren't cheap. $40. Now, let me be clear. I am against any state interfering with federal immigration law. Uh, shortly after Arizona passed its bill, I received a letter that said, Mr. President, uh, I was born in this country. I get up early every day. Uh, I work extremely hard, come home to my wife and my kids. And still, the police stop me and question my intentions. I don't think Senator McCain should be treated that way. <laughs> or do I? Now, I'm proud of all that. But listening to the attacks from my opponents and the right-wing media, you would think I haven't gotten anything done. But, you know, it's true what Harry Truman once said. If you want a friend in Washington, get a dog. So I did. Uh, his name's Bo. Uh, there he is, a good boy. Uh, actually, his full name's Bo Diddley. <laughs> now, Bo comes from my initials, Barack Obama. And Diddley represents the amount of support I've gotten from Fox News. But he sleeps out in his doghouse every night out, out there in the Rose Garden. But it's not a new doghouse. From what I'm told, Bill Clinton slept in it a lot. <laughs> but perhaps my expectations were too high when I took this job. You know, as you can recall, my slogan was, yes, we can. And I got to admit, I thought we could. But apparently, no, we can't. So, in front of you all here today, this afternoon, I'm unveiling my new slogan. I killed Osama. What do you think? Yeah. It wasn't George Bush, it wasn't Dick Cheney, that was me. I did that for you. So, you know, uh, uh, that's my new slogan, I think it's pretty cool. But 
you right wingers should be proud of me because the mission to capture bin Laden wasn't only successful in that I killed him, and I also, uh, in cooperation with two of my uh, bigger liberal supporters, proved that you were correct after all. Torture does work. <laughs> Who'd have thought? But the economy is frail. It's barely moving. It's gasping for air and desperately clinging to life, uh, just like Newt Gingrich's campaign. <laughs> now, come on. He's in serious trouble. His consultants are dropping faster than Anthony Weiner's pants in an AOL chat room. But now, speaking of candidates, a little birdie told me that uh, you're all looking for someone to challenge me in 2012. Yeah. Really? Well, how's that going for you? Okay. Well, let's see. You got your front runner, uh, Mitt Romney. Now, don't get me wrong. He might make a great president along with his first lady, uh, second lady, uh, third lady. <laughs> now, it's unfortunate that Tim Pawlenty couldn't make it here, but cut him some slack. He's having his foot surgically removed from his mouth. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry. Luckily for him, it's covered under Obamacare. So, yeah, that along, along with spinal transplants. <laughs> yeah. Come on. John King served him up a ball softer than Barney Frank's backside. <laughs> now, because of him, people are asking me, uh, when am I going to explain the details of my health care plan? And I've got three words for you. So am I. <laughs> now the Donald. Remember him? Yeah, he chose not to run as a Republican, but uh, he's now threatening to run as an independent. But the only thing running independent of Donald Trump is his hair. Now we got Michelle Bachman. Now what can I say about Michelle Bachman that she hasn't already said about herself? Uh, the other day she called me a one-term president. One syllable president. Got to go. God bless you. God bless the United States. God bless America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Are y'all still pumped?